Hi, my name is Helen and I'm an SAT Perfect Scorer. So the night before, I guess, was the most stressful part because I had to get all of my things ready. I had to get my backpack sorted out. And then when I went to sleep, I was feeling pretty stressed out. And then when I woke up the next day, I actually felt less stressed out because I feel like I had already prepared all that I could and I walked into the test kind of thinking that like this is it, this is like the culmination of my efforts. It's okay if I don't do too great because I know that I've done everything I could. So after the test was over, I kind of felt, all right, it's over, like that's it, I'm done. And then that was just it. So I guess the night before was just the worst part. Yeah, so the scores come out on the College Board website at midnight or like somewhere in the night. So I went to sleep before that. And then my mom actually woke me up the next morning when the scores were released and she was like, hey, Helen, come on, let's go check your score. So I was kind of like still groggy and stuff from bed. So I went to go check. And then we found out together that I had gotten a perfect score. And then she was really excited. I was also half excited, half asleep. But it's kind of sunk in later, I guess. And then yeah, she called up the rest of my family, like my grandma, my dad, my brother, who's in college, just to like tell him I also got a perfect score. Um, so that was pretty great. Yeah, it was exciting. So when it came time to prepare for my SATs, I came to Testmasters Exam Club. And basically they have like this massive stack of tests and old solutions. And I came here every single Saturday for like the two or three months leading up to the SAT. So I would come here and do the problems and then check my solutions. And the whole thing would take maybe four hours in the morning or in the afternoon. And that was a really big help because I feel like being able to go through all the old solutions and not just figure out why like my answers were wrong, but also how I got them wrong and how I could fix those answers, that was really helpful. And the test master class themselves for the SAT, that was really helpful because they had like instructors in real time who would explain to you every problem. They would walk you through the processes and that was really helpful I feel like because it's a lot harder to study on your own than when you have someone like standing there guiding you as you go. And then also I had friends at test masters which was really great because every, every time I came to classes I would see them there. They'd be studying next to me and that was just really helpful as well. I liked that the instructors were really approachable and kind. They, they made you feel like you could ask them anything and they would come back with a really thoughtful answer. And that, was, that helped me be prepared, that made me feel prepared. So when I walked into the exam, I kind of felt like I knew what I was doing because I had months of test masters experience behind me. And also with the exam club, when I came in to take those tests, I had friends there as well. And then the friends who were there with me helped me feel like I was not alone in taking this test because all of us as juniors were taking the test together. And I feel like without test masters preparation behind me, I wouldn't have gotten the perfect score that I did. first thing you want to do is practice a lot. Uh, I would say like two or three months in advance you want to start pulling out old tests, come to test masters, start going through those booklets and make sure you check every single question that you miss and even the ones like if you guess it right you also want to go through those because you don't know the actual content. When you miss a question you want to be sure why the wrong answers are wrong and not just why the correct answers are correct. And I feel like the test masters instructors are really good for that because they're willing to sit down with and walk you through all the steps. So I plan on studying computer science when I go off to college and I've been fortunate enough to be accepted into MIT so I'll be enrolling there this fall. Um, I think having the SAT perfect score behind me really helped me gain a competitive edge to get into the top university of my choice and I think I'm just really excited to be studying computer science.